Hello everyone, I'm Natasha Fata. You're watching CBC News Network. We continue to keep a close watch on breaking news coming out of India. At least 81 people are now confirmed dead, including children, in a collapse of a suspension bridge. It happened in the state of Gujarat in the western part of the country. More than 400 people were reportedly on the bridge at the time of the collapse over the Machu River. Officials say at least 30 people have been injured, but that number will likely rise. And the bridge itself was built in the 19th century and up until last week had been closed for renovations. Reporter Ishan Garg has the latest from New Delhi. Well, what I can tell you is that the rescue efforts are ongoing. There are reports coming through that more than 400 people, as you said, were on the bridge. And many of them videos uh, show on Indian media that have been cl uh, clinging onto the ropes on the bridge, onto this suspension bridge. Uh, but most of the people are believed to have fallen into the water. Now, the relief uh, uh, teams are on the ground, but they say that because of the darkness in the middle of the night, uh, the rescue ops are proving uh, to be very difficult. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who is in the state, has ordered immediate uh, rescue efforts. They've also announced uh, a compensation of nearly 6,700 U.S. dollars for the dead and about 600 U.S. dollars for those who've been injured. Uh, the death toll is expected to rise as per expert, but uh, the situation is very quickly evolving as of now. Absolutely. We'll continue to watch for any further developments, but we also know that that bridge was currently going under renovations. What do you know of that, Ishan? The bridge, as you pointed out, was built over 100 years ago. It was considered to be a marvel of British architecture. Uh, it was a major tourist attraction in the city of Morbi as well, uh, but it was recently closed down for about six months uh, for uh, reconstruction and renovation efforts, and it was recently reopened just a week ago. Now, it's unclear if it had received the appropriate, uh, 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 appropriate permissions and licenses and certificates and all of that, and that's why opposition parties in the states are calling uh, for an investigation into the renovation efforts, saying that the construction could have been possibly shoddy, which might have led to this horrific incident. My goodness. So the other thing we're all, we are also aware of is that many of the people on the bridge would not have been able to swim. What do you know about possible injuries, the extent of those injuries, what's happening on that front? Well, uh, about 400 odd people are believed to have been on the bridge. They were conducting uh, Chhat Puja as part of Hindu traditions, and most of the people are believed to have fallen into the river. And uh, the relief efforts uh, are ongoing, but people are saying there that uh, the death toll right now is believed to be about 80, but it could possibly go as high as nearly 250 people. It's possible that another 100 people may have been severely injured. They're being rushed to the hospital, uh, and it's unclear um, how many of those people will survive. Uh, so it's highly likely that uh, the figures that we are seeing of the people who have been saved uh, and the people who have died, these figures could change drastically over the next few hours. Reporter Ishan Garg in New Delhi. Thank you.